Hey guys, well, I'm Barry from Power Apps Academy. Welcome to our latest video. And in this video, we're going to cover uh, what I call the Digital Launchpad, which is a very simple app, a Canvas app that we put together. It's integrated into Teams and basically a single place where your users can come to launch all your digital services. Um, this could be web links, could be Power Apps links, or anything like that. So, um, without further ado, Let's crack on with the video. But just before that, I'd just like to announce that Power Apps Academy is now uh, in partnership with PowerAppify.com. These guys up here. And this is where you're going to be able to download all these apps we're creating. Uh, their packages will be available from PowerAppify.com. And this digital launch, launch pad app is going to be absolutely free. So uh, once you've watched the video, click on the link below and you can download this for free and uh, install it and customize it in your business. Right, let's pop over to the app itself. This is our digital launch pad application. Here you, you can see we've launched it from within Teams. Here's our team sidebar. Um, we've just added this little icon in here. Now when you download this application from Power Appify, uh, we've got instructions included in that bundle on how to add this application into Teams. So um, it's, as I said, it's a very simple application. It's one page, one screen application, and all it is, is a place for someone to go they just click on the link in teams it opens up this application and then it's got a link to all our apps so uh, these are ones that we're going to be creating in upcoming um, uh, videos in the series uh, we've got some business services so maybe new starters and levers app we will also be looking at creating one of these uh, training development new software request form or service request form. He has a number of applications that we use within our business, web apps, we can put links in here. So uh, just a really easy and centralized place where anyone in the business can come to find uh, all different business services that have been digitized and available to them. You can also see up here, we've got a um, just a message of the day. So you can change this however frequently you want. And um, over here, I've just got uh, we've launched a knowledge base in this example and it's a message to business uh, click here and uh, if they click on here it'll open up um, our confluence knowledge base so let's just pop over to power apps itself um, so i've opened up the the app in edit mode here in power apps i'll just quickly describe how we put this together so one one screened app as you can see here uh, there's just a single screen, just ignore those other screens, they're actually just uh, test screens which aren't in use. But this is just uh, a single screen, and what we've done is added in some shapes. If you want to add in shapes, you can go down here, and there's, uh, you've got rectangles. These are just rectangles you can see, and then on top of them, here I've just added in a, an image, which is my logo. Um, I've just put a, a text uh, a label here uh, which is my digital launch pad label and um, here these two are just two buttons so I've got the buttons uh, with on select so this one will launch um, my mail client with a, a address to our service desk and you just update this with your uh, service desk or help desk email address and then this uh, exit button is just the general exit function here so when they click on either of those buttons that's what will happen uh, on this again, just it's just a text. Um, sorry, it's just a label box with some text in it. Put a little image over it here, and again, uh, if they click on that of uh, on select, that it launches into uh, w whatever your web address is for your knowledge base. Um, this over here, this message, there's just a, a bit of. Um, uh, 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 scripting in there just to it works out the time um, if it's if it's less than 12 o'clock it means it's morning if it's uh, under under um, five o'clock and it's afternoon and then uh, everything else is evening and then it uh, just says good afternoon good evening Barry my first name you can just use that to um, gather the first name and then uh, just a, a message just saying click on one of the links below and then these boxes are just again those rectangles from here and you can just remember you can align them so you can um, reorder them bring them to the front so uh, if i brought, brought this to the, the 
rectangle to the front, it would overwrite all the text. Or I could send it to the back. Let me just show you. So it would overwrite all the text, or I could go and um, send it to the back. It would then go to the back. Now this image right at the back of the screen is just how you can set, actually in the properties of the screen, if you click on here, you go to the properties, you can upload an image, whatever image you want as the background, and that would um, fill that background image. And then for these little icons, all I've done is gone to Google and I've searched uh, transparent icon, maybe shopping basket or whatever you want. And if, if you want it round, just put that in the search as well. And then you can download most of these for free. There are some icon sites as well that you can go to and get these. And then just, uh, just add a picture. So you go media, add an image, and then you, uh, you upload your image file and then it will automatically come in here. Just make sure it's transparent so that you know it's not a block. It actually, the, if it is a square, then the, the outside side of the image is still transparent, which means it looks round. Um, and then these here are basically labels. Just add in a label. And if they disabled, um, then uh, you can just change the color to a gray color if you want. Um, or whatever color you want. And then uh, uh, like these ones here, are, you can see coming soon, uh, the hover color, when I go over them, they'll be gray. When I, you know, when, when, it's, when it's live, uh, all the text will be gray and it, my live ones will go green when they hover over them. So you can just play around with those colors just so people know which links are live, which ones are coming soon, uh, or you could hide them and make them invisible as well. So, um, that's basically it. Uh, I'll just show you an example. I wanted to add in a, a bit of a feedback where, where um, our business users can provide feedback on the form. So as, as I've done, I've just added in this media image here. I've already got here. I've already uploaded something before. I think it's called uh, feedback. Here we go. Free, 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 free feedback icon that you can see has appeared there. And um, I want to use Microsoft Forms, which is included in Office 365. I've created this feedback form within Forms um, over here. You can see it's very simple. How do you rate the digital launch pad? Just a star rating. Um, you can change that to numbers of star prefer stars. And then just simple, what would you like us to add or change? But people can just add that in. Um, you can preview it over here. This is what it'll look like to end users. But you can actually go to send here, copy the URL. So uh, I can go back to my Power App, I can just click on this and then go uh, on select, um, on select, and then we'll go launch, and then double quotes, paste that in, close the quotes, close the brackets. There we go. So now it'll launch that form, and you might you might also want to just go something like. Add in another text box there. Just make that white so it stands out in the background. And you might want to change that to uh, feedback. Back. There we go. Bring it in a bit. There we go. Oh, bring it down. Let's make it a bit smaller. Let's just make it nine. Um, I wonder if we should say, um, we would love your feed back. Let's just see. Center it. There we go. So something like that. I mean, you could make it look a bit neater. Um, but we'll leave it like that for now. And then if they click on that, it'll launch the form. So let's just go into play. Um, yeah, as, as I said before, the live one would be green. Any ones that aren't live, you can either hide or you can see they grayed out. These are live. These are all live over here. And uh, our feedback form, let's just click on that. There we go. That launches our, our feedback. So that, that works well. So in a nutshell, that is the digital launch pad. As I said, it's a very simple 
um, app that you can create as a novice very easily, but a very useful, when you look at it from a business perspective, it's a very useful application because from within Teams, here I am, boom, into the digital launch pad. Because many times you get people, they don't know where to go or they have to go to this internet site or this other place to find these applications. And it can get quite confusing for users, but this being in Teams, a tool they use every day, easy to find on the side toolbar there and uh, they can launch it now the best thing is you can download this app right now for free from powerappify.com just find the digital launchpad app download that that comes as a package you've got uh, the app itself that you can just the template you can upload it into your power apps portal and then um, customize it for your own needs uh, we've also got full documentation and instructions on how to import it into teams all uh, included in the package so get yourself over to powerappify.com and download this and import it uh, into your business as soon as possible and uh, this is just a first video in a number of series all these applications that are in the list we're going to be working through and creating them and they will be available as packages for you to download and use and customize within your organization so uh, keep tuned please subscribe to keep up to date when we launch our new videos um, but thanks for watching